Hello, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? This is your friend Nani, and today I bring you a detailed tutorial on how to make a fitted long pencil skirt. Okay, if you like the sound of that, if you want to make something like that, kindly join me on this tutorial. Let's make this beautiful skirt. So I'll be needing my measurements, my fabric, my tape, my scissors, my pattern maker. And of course, a calculator to calculate a little bit of the measurements. Okay, so right here I have my fabric unfold, and to know how to fold, you need to measure the biggest circumference around the body. And for this project, it's the hip. So the hip is 46 divided by 4 would give me 11.5. So I'll be adding two inches to that, and I have 13.5. Okay, so I folded in 14 inches just to be on the safer side so then i would mark my starting point okay so that's how to fold you fold with the biggest measurements or yeah the wider wider circumference around the body okay so after marking my starting point i'll start taking my vertical measurements okay so i'll mark the hip length okay that's the waist to the hip length from the waist to the hip that's the distance from your waist to your hip you need to measure that so for this product it is nine inches okay i would also mark the waist to the knee length okay exactly where your knee is so i'm not making a small dot at that point because that wouldn't be the exact knee length to be working with okay we'll just make some alterations at the knee you know it's a fitted pencil skirt okay so i also mark the skirt length that's the desired skirt length then i'll add two inches hemming allowance okay you're not seeing that so i'm just going to move my camera uh, closer a bit so that you'll see what i'm doing so like i said to the hem i'll be adding two inches for hemming allowance okay so you can neatly hem your dress your skirt this is a skirt on the dress all right so after doing this i'm just going to come and extend all these points into a straight line to make our working pattern visible okay more visible so that you can see exactly what i'm doing you can see this knee line all right so if you're working with a tall person you can come up by three inches and if you're working with a not so tall person you can do two inches okay so whatever you have as the knee length come up by three or two inches depending on the height of the person so i'm doing two inches upwards okay and this is to limit um having your skirts constricting movement around the knee okay it's a fitted skirt and you want to be able to walk properly while wearing your skirt you want to be able to move okay without being you know constricted so that's why we do that so i will extend the length and the hemming allowance okay remember if it's a tall person you can go up by three inches if the person is not so tall two inches okay so i have here my waist my hip my knee the length and the seam allowance now i'm ready to start drafting are you ready let's go okay so on the waistline i'll mark quarter of the waist measurement plus two inches and it simply means my waist divided by four then i'll mark two inches as seam allowance okay then on the hip line i'm going to mark quarter of the hip measurement which simply means the hip divided by four plus two inches seam allowance okay now on the knee we are going to leave it for now and this is for those of us that want a straight a pencil skirt but it's not so fitted so what you do is to measure exactly what you have on the hip line you are going to transfer exactly that to the length of the skirt okay now what you would then do after marking that on the length of the skirt you would then come in by either 1.5 or 2 inches depending on how shapey the person is now so this is what you're going to do if you don't want a very fitted skirt you just want a skirt that's free around uh the knee area you're going to measure exactly what you have on the hip line transfer it to the length of the skirt then come inward by 1.5 if the person is not so curvy by one inch if the person is not curvy at all then two inches if the person is blessed at the back if the person is in doubt okay all right so that is it i'm going to connect from the hip to the length of the skirt all right using a straight ruler like so i'll just connect to that to, to that 1.5 inches i came inward at the length of the skirt so if you don't want a very fitted skirt this is what you would have but for those of us that want to make a very fitted skirt that would accentuate your curves you know bring out your inner beauty <laughs> all right so on the waistline i'm going to add one inch for that 
okay because this is a fitted skirt so we want to add that to you know make it more fitted so i'll come in by four inches that's your bust pan measurement divided by two okay so i'll you mark your bust pan divided by two on the waistline just then you then come up by come down by six inches okay that will be my dart length so i also mark that bust pan measurements on the six inches i came down from the waistline by okay then i'll take half inch on both sides of the bust pan line that's the dart line now okay it's now called the dart line all right so then i'll then connect it to the six inches i came down by so six inches is my dart length okay so what i did like i said earlier mark your bust pan your nipple to nipple measurements on the waistline okay then you come down by six inches for your dart length now after all those things i'm just going to connect from the dart allowance that i made on the waistline to the hip okay so that's how you curve for the waist to the hip okay so now we have our skirts now for those of us you know those of us that god has blessed we're going to you know make a fitted pencil skirt right so on the knee line i'm going to come in what by either three quarter or one inch and it's dependent on what you took at the hemline okay so if you took 1.5 inches like we came in by 1.5 inches at the hemline so you're going to divide 1.5 inches into two so whatever you get you're going to mark that on the knee line so i have 1.5 inches on the hemline so divided dividing that by two gave me three quarter of an inch that's 0 0.75 so i'm going to mark 0 0.75 inward then connect it to the hip line so if you are taking or if you took two inches at the hemline it means that on the hip on the knee line you're going to come in by one inch okay so like i said this depends on the shape of the person so i'll connect from that three quarter that i came in on the knee line i'll connect to the length of the skirt okay so this would give you wow look at that beauty look at that beauty <laughs> so you can see how beautiful this is and how curvy um it is so this would give you a fitted and a perfect pencil skirt now on the center front okay after my starting point i'm going to come in or come down by one inch rather then using the curvy part of my ruler i would extend it to the side seam like so okay like so and this is to eliminate the bulge your you would have at the upper part of your skirt now if you have or if you're working with somebody that has a big tummy you do not use the straight part use the straight part of your ruler okay the straight part of your pattern maker like so if you have a, a bigger tummy use the straight part and if you have a flat tummy use the curvy part okay so that you don't bulge at the at the upper part okay so that's to reduce the bulge at the upper part okay so there was those of us that god has blessed at the tummy area people like me we are doing half inch god bless you <laughs> all right so if you have a flat tummy coming by one by use your use the cover part of your ruler okay so cutting that out i'll then go and Add my half inch seam allowance to the upper part. That's if you want to turn with your lining. Okay, there are so many ways to do this. You can turn with your lining. You can just attach. Um, you can just me add your lining and attach a band. So I'll be adding half inch to it. Okay. So now for the front pattern, you would have to cut out that um that half inch that we came down by. But because I need this front to cut the back, I won't cut that out yet. I'll just add my half inch for turning because I also need it at the back. Okay, I hope you understand. So when I'm done cutting the back, I'll then go and trim off half inch following that curve, that slanted line that I made at the front. Okay, I'll do that only for the front and not for the back. Okay, so I'll then go and, you know, fold my fabric for the back now the back is a lot easier so stress-free okay you just need your zip allowance and your front pattern okay god has made it easy for the back pattern okay <laughs> okay so so what i'll do would be to fold into two remember i folded 14 inches for the front so what i'll do would be to fold 16 for the back because we'll be needing two inches zip allowance for the back so i'm marking the two inches zip allowance right there from top to bottom 
like so adding my two inches zip allowance okay remember this is going to have a back slit so you need to make it two inches okay so that your slits you fold you'll be able to fold properly and have a very nice slit okay so i'll then connect into a straight line to you know draft out my zip allowance right okay so guys are you, you're watching till now Abby. you're still watching and you haven't subscribed did i offend you <laughs> please consider subscribing join this lovely sewing community this family i love this family you've got <laughs> so uh join us turn on your post notifications so that each time i upload the video you'll be the first to be notified and please if you have any questions i'm in the comment section to answer your questions when they drop okay so this is my zip allowance and i've marked my starting point for the back so what i'll do is just to get the front pattern and place it on the back pattern life made easy sewing made easy <laughs> okay so i'll just place um the front pattern on the back pattern and the center front is going to be matching on the zip allowance that i made okay so you make sure that you place your center front to touch uh, the zip allowance mark okay so you place everything nice and clean you can see how much time i'm taking to make sure that um, i'm placing it correctly and pulling out all the parts that need to be pulled out you don't need anyone inwards or inside okay so like so everything is smooth and neat so what i'll do is just to cut around the front pattern and voila we have it okay so i'm still making sure that everything is nice and clean because um a beautiful garment or outfit is as a result of a beautiful cotton i hope you got that so if your cotton is wrong ah uh, your sewing will be wrong right so i want to teach us what to do to accentuate the back you know some of us those of us that god has blessed behind i keep saying this okay you need to have a smooth want on to contour the back okay so that the butt curve would be you know wow wow all right so i've uh, marked out the hip the knee line on the back pattern so from the zip allowance i'll come in by three quarter of an inch or even one inch okay so from the zip allowance then i'll connect it to the hip line so what i'll do would also to trace out my hip line like so so that's my hip line so i'm going to connect the one inch i came in at the knee line okay or connect it to the hip line you know this is what we do at the back of our upper bodies to um, eliminate back puff okay you know this method right so i also do it at my skirt to my skirt pattern to you know give it a beautiful shape at the back right so i'll then connect that three quarter or one inch back to the length of the skirt okay back to the zip allowance okay so I need to maintain my two inches zip allowance okay so what i'm going to do is to mark two inches from that three quarter or that one inch that you came in by i'm going to mark two inches we want to maintain our two inches zip allowance okay so on the hip line you see that you still have your two inches so you're going to be connecting the hip line to the knee line okay to maintain your zip allowance very very important okay then i also connect to the length of the skirt like so so you're going to have that you know smooth transition from the waist to the knee and when you, once one sees your behind you're going to have that d shape to that d curved shape now remember that i've taken out three quarter or one inch from our skirt so if you don't replace it back you'll be having a shortage so i replace it back on the knee length then connect from the hip to that one inch that i added back and to the length of the skirt and you have it okay this is for people that have very big um, protruded behinds okay so those of that god bless behind but my sister if you know that your client does not have that much you can you know you can skip this but if you also want to try it out to see what it looks like please feel free i wouldn't be doing that because my client is not so curvy at the back all right so i'll open up uh, my zip allowance then notch up top and bottom okay i would notch my zip allowance just to be sure so that when i'm sewing i'll be it will be a guide for me to sew 
right so afterwards you also go and you know notch your dart so i'll take off the dot the darts to the upper part you know so that my hymen allowance that i added to the upper part okay so i'll just notch it right so afterwards i'll notch the hip line these things are very very important because when you're sewing you'll be needing them okay you don't need to start taking measurements anymore it makes your sewing easier and faster i also notch the knee line okay and my seam allowance my 22 seam allowance i'm also going to make a, a notch there okay so that when you're folding that notch will just be your guide line or your guide there. you know when you do these things you can you see that you sew so easy and so stress-free okay so this is it now for those of us that don't want to that don't want to turn the upper part with lining maybe you want to attach a band to it okay so from my starting point okay taking out the, the half inch that i added for turning with lining from my starting point i'm going to come down by 1.5 now that's if you want a two inches band okay so let's say i want a two inches band i wouldn't mark two inches directly i'll come down by 1.5 i'll leave the remaining half inch as seam allowance that i'll use to attach the band to the skirt okay so if you want a 1.5 inches band it means to be coming now coming down by one inch leaving half inch for seam allowance so i want a two inches band so i'm coming down by 1.5 inches okay so that when i cut this out i'll be needing um half inch to attach this band to the skirt now it means now for my band my band is going to be five inches long or uh, the height to be five inches so that when i fold into two i'll have two and half okay then i'll use half inch to stitch the band to the skirt then i'll have back my two inches band that i initially wanted okay so that's how to cut off if you want to attach a band all right so um, i'll be showing us in another tutorial how to sew your pencil skirt with lining it's going to be three different tutorials how to sew your pencil skirt with lining and as in turning with your line and also how to attach your band so if you found this particular video helpful please like and share it till i see you next time bye i love you